terror all season. Uh, a couple more hits tonight. But tell us about your approach coming into the season. Uh, just try and stay in the lineup every day. You know, last year was kind of a horse uh, race, I guess, the second Thank you. with uh, Connor and uh, Ruffalo and uh, Mark and Pat Long all playing. So I guess just come on out of the gate and give Coach Hall no reason to, to put some balls in. I guess it's sort of ironic since there was two or three guys fighting for the second base job, and that was really the only job where there was questions about who was going to play this year. I mean, it really was. A lot of guys uh, thought maybe they can sneak some time in the outfield. A lot of guys thought, you know, maybe some late game uh, defensive replacements. But a lot, a lot of guys have really stepped up hey, defensively. So the, the late game replacements aren't necessary. But I think everybody knew that second base was up for grabs, and everyone was fighting for it. Did, did your summer have a lot to do with your confidence going into this season? Yeah, um, I think the, the summer ball. I, I had a lot of success in summer ball, and it was just a, a, a new experience of playing college baseball, hitting at college level, fielding at a college level. And, and uh, I, get, I think that gave me a step up over some other guys. Paper man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after you know, kind of a disappointing weekend, I guess, for you against the Dolphins. Was it good to get out here and, and break your up? Well. Uh, Actually, I felt the best I felt all year against the Deacons. Things just didn't fall in. You know, uh, I hit the ball real well on Saturday and ended up going over six. So, you know, things happen like that. I, I had a few bleeders that fell in, but you know, when you let things like that get to your head, uh, that's when you start slumping you know, more and more. And I just said, you know what? I'm not going to let it get to my head tonight. We're playing Georgia. Let's, let's go get them. Any chance you were going to swing on three and a you know, my approach when I got up there is I'm taking until he throws me a strike. And, you know, if it got to a 3 1 count, I might have I thought about taking it until it was 3 2 so we could get some runners from here just to see, see what might happen. They could throw another strike. But you guys need to no come shot. off. No <laughs> shot. <laughs> Tell us a little about the ball that dropped in between you and Derek. Was one or part of the other one calling the player? Well, actually, we both called it at the exact same time, and then, and then uh, I, I let him have it. And, uh, at the last second, he slipped, lost his footing, and just you know, the ball fell. Just, you know, stuff happens. It's baseball. Yeah. How close were you to getting the force and set? Um, you know, he was there I think, pretty easily, but I'm not going. I'm not just going to stand up and give it to him. <laughs> you, know, you mentioned about going up there, just especially wanting to, to take. You know, when you got ahead three and zero, but. Given what uh, you know, some of the pitches that were the guys in front of you swung at, were you really just looking at making him? Did you come up with the, with the idea just to you, know, you weren't going to swing at that curveball, especially? Um, he wasn't throwing his fastball for strikes, so I was looking for an off-speed pitch. But mostly a changeup because I've been hitting those pretty well right now. Um, but you know, just just trying to get a good piece of bat on the ball and hit it on the ground and not in the air and pop it up. You know, just try and find a hole again. I guess.